hello lovely peoples good morning so today we are going to take king your another class with another day with a new beautiful day so our today's topic about sales you know that so today we are going to take a talk about sales channels so distribution channels involve to separate yet closely connected activities logistic or physical distribution management the channels of distribution historically distribution was simple with production selling locally to customer who often collected goods themselves <coughs> distribution costs have risen relative to the production however as a result of automation and e-commerce production cost as a percentage of total cost are now lower than they were each element is now considered so now i am going to talk about logistic or physical distribution management this part is really really very important in sales term okay so the term logistic and pdm are interchangeable although some writers interfere the logistic is more concerned with the strategic issues whereas pdm relates to tactics Logistics means the effective and economic planning, implementation and control of the physical flow of materials as they are unprocessed state through the finished goods from the point of origin to delivery to the end consumer. Logistics conventionally starts with the customers and work back towards of the original source of supply. So guys, this is my personal notes and I teach to you these notes, okay? So number one. Order processing this fast stage calls for close liaison to the customer. Number two, materials handling. This is usually a function to the product terms in physical characteristics such as weight, bulk related to value, and personally all which determine number three, warehousing. Warehousing is really very important because if anyone try to stock their product, they can stock in it warehouse. So warehouse, the location of depths and the warehouse relative the end customer is very important in some industries. Warehouse can carry buffer, buffer stock and help to even of peak and stores in production. Again, this process requires a balance between service levels and cost. Transportation that involves the physical delivery of customers and organization of materials from supplies to be used in the production process it is co course a critical factors in companies that operate a large manufacturing inventory control with the widespread absorption just a minute to our land manufacturing this has become a critical issue it is now from customer to think the stock holding in terms the packaging is packaging this is designed for the container that is displayed on the shelf of the super circuit in normally marketing communication issue but in terms of out containers and the appropriate packaging for shipping via various models of transport this falls under the logistic mix classifications these are the philosophical stand profits in relations to logistics so these are the logistic physical distribution management system and this is actually how it really works so one considered it as system concept for our management regards logistic as a system interrelated components the other views it is the total cost approach whereas management attempts to minimize the cost of using the components taken as a whole as a whole so now i am going to talk about channel distribution very shortly okay i am not going to this video more lengthy management should constantly repress channels and distribution to make cost savings Marketing channels are determined by company policy and this determines how to sales force should be organized. A sales channel is the route that goods take through the channel through from a supplier to the customer. Sometimes the channel is direct, especially where goods sold are incorporated into a manufacturing process. Final goods might then be sold through a different channel. A product example is fuel injection system that are sold to automobile manufacturers. Automobiles are then sold to car distributors and the car distributors are sold to the consumers. When we consider a product from a raw material stage to the end product, many different sales channels can be involved in different stages of manufacturing. 
Sales channel can be indirect whereby a manufacturer sells to wholesaler or agents who sells a smaller loss to other customer. This term is breaking bound. So guys, this is about sales channel stocks and channels of distribution. Hopefully you can understand this very, these two topics very clearly. So see you another day with a new video with a new topic. Until that time, see my every video. Thank you so much.